So, I think um, I just like the, the first thing I need to do is I hey, need to... this ain't no boutique. Don't take all Sometimes day. I wish I could just skip the dialogue stuff. You can skip some of it, but it's kind of random as to which ones you can and which ones you can't. All right, so... Digmaster, the only shovel for serious treasure hunting enthusiasts. All right, so I'm going to pick up this. Hurry up! Don't think, just buy! And then I'm also going to pick up this sword... Um, let's see, pick up, pick up, pick up. See, this is what I'm talking about, is like you have to scroll through everything. It'd be easier if there Don't was just like just something buy. I could click on and then click it. Alright, and then I'm going to talk to this guy. What do you want? And I'm going to buy the sword. About this sword? Yeah, what about it? How much is it? That's a hundred pieces of eight. Take it or leave it. Okay, I'll take I'll it. I'll take it. Great. Best hundred pieces of eight you ever spent. What else do you want? All right, the next thing I'm going to do is buy the shovel. About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Oh, it'll pay for itself, believe me. Yeah, I'll need that to get the treasure, and I need the sword, no obviously, time. to fight the sword but master. Hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would you? <laughs> what else do you want? All right. I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm. Now, I don't know. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. He'll actually do this like a million times. It doesn't fucking matter. And right. don't touch anything! If you try to steal stuff from him, which I did try to do, he'll come back and be like, what the fuck, man? Why are you trying to... He doesn't say what the fuck, obviously, but he'll say, like, why are you trying to steal my, my shit, bro? Um, so I'm just going to follow him, and uh, he's going to take me straight to where she is. So... You can't actually catch up with them because, you know, you can't run in this game, but. Just keep going this way. And we're going to do a few things all at the same time. Now, there's one part that's, like, kind of annoying and long, and I'll tell you about it when I get there. Uh, but it's, like, part of the process of getting the sword. Uh, unfortunately, or beating the sword master, I should say. Um, so this is the guy, the storekeeper, and he's going here to the fort. So I'm going to go in there, and I'm just going to follow him. And later I'll grab those yellow flowers, I'll need that um, to get past the dogs that they were talking about that were guarding the mansion. And again, like, all of this is coming really quickly because it's like, oh, I, I literally just did this like two days ago or something like that. But the first time I did it, this took a long time because it's like just trial and error like do I do this do I do that what do I do like um and I'm pretty sure it was driving Esther crazy because she's sitting right next to me like just ask me what to do I gotta figure it out myself I'm behind a tree that doesn't make sense because I'd be right behind him all right so I'm gonna go through here this is the Swordmaster's house, so that's the Swordmaster there. I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on uh, business. This kid, come into my store, see? See? Face Man. it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut <laughs> I like it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike and don't come out here again. 
someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, yeah right. baby. Now scram. All right, now I can come up here and I can talk to her. And she's basically just going to tell me, like, you don't even know how to fight, bro. Like, fuck out of my face. How dare you approach the sword master without permission, which I surely didn't give you. It's quite the scowl. I beg your pardon. I must talk to you. I doubt that. Everyone who comes here is prepared to fight. Let's be honest. You're here to prove yourself to the pirate yep. leaders in hopes of one day being as immoral as they are. Yep. Yep. Nailed it right on the head. Gee, you're smart. What was your final grade in Captain Smirk's sword fighting class? But, um, uh, grade? Class? You mean you came here to take on the sword master of Melee Island, possibly the greatest sword fighter in the entire Caribbean, without a single lesson in the art of fencing? Yep. How did you expect to defend yourself? I didn't. Gee, I don't know. I see. Obviously not with your razor-sharp wit. I'd advise you to seek out Captain Smirks and get some real training. It would hardly be ethical, sporting, or even interesting to fight someone as unskilled as I yourself. I get it. So beat it. Why well, you gotta be so mean? Okay, so now we're gonna leave. So basically that guy that looks like the Nick Fury or the bad guy from Avatar and all that stuff. We need to talk to him. Um, okay. But before I do that, I'm going to go here to the fort. And we're going to go in here. And we're going to get these uh, plants. If you remember, these are the um, uh, flowers that, that Otis, the guy in the prison, was talking about. That it's illegal to pick and we're gonna use this um, if I can find use we're gonna use this on the meat and now this meat is poisoned so we can give it to the dogs and it will put them to sleep um, I'm also gonna go here and I'll show you so we had that that uh, map right so it says uh, back left right so these are the directions. Go back here, go to the left. Go to the right. And then it's left, right, back. So the first time I did this, I was just dicking around and just like clicking on random doors and I accidentally guessed the right path to get to this area. I was like, oh, this one looks different. And uh, Esther, my wife, was like, what the crap? How did you get to just guess that randomly? I don't know. The just legendary lucky, lost baby. treasure of Melee Island. I don't this carefully reproduced piece of Melee Island history baby, has delighted thousands of would-be pirates and their families for generations. Remember, there are other pirates on this island. So go easy um, on the treasure. I knew that the map Leave some or the, the dance person. moves were the map for this forest, but the mistake that I was making is like, for some reason I was thinking back, like, go back through the door you came from, not like back like it's the back of the screen. Um, so I was like, oh, this map doesn't really work wealth. for some reason. Well, you'll just have to dig it up to believe it. All right, so then we'll... Paid for by the Melee Island Chamber of Commerce. What we're going to do 
is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna use the shovel. It doesn't seem to open on this X. Oh, why didn't it do it? Use the shovel. Well, this shouldn't take too long. There you go. Hours pass. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy. It's a t-shirt. I'm pretty sure this was the first one Not I got last size, time. But a nice too, one but... nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back. I think now. I did this one, then fighting the sword master, then going to the mansion. So I'll just do it in that order again. More hours pass. There we go. And now I have this t-shirt. So that's the first one. And we need to leave this place. And I don't remember how I get out of this place. I don't remember if it does it automatically. Yeah, it does. Okay, so that part's done. Um, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to go back and talk to this guy. And if we go up to the door knock what do you want now I can pay him. oh it's you what do you got well I've got 30 pieces of eight say no more say no more let's see your sword okay check it out yes this is a nice one let's get to it all right okay you maggot why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it? Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yes, I can see this is gonna take some special measures. Yep. Just want you to know... I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special student mentor pieces of eight bonding that I'm going Money to Money is lights. the closest kind of bond. I'm gonna put you up against the machine. Dun dun dun. The machine? Is this gonna hurt? The machine actually looks really funny if you so that's what the machine looks like. Yikes. But in the old Come view at me. it looks really funny. It's got this like googly face. Beat first, then learn. No! Beat first, then learn. No! Beat first, then learn. Watch your footwork. Watch your footwork. Hours later. Hours You're later. starting to get the hang of it. I kind of want to use that. More hours later. Hours later and more hours later for my You've Mega Man form. videos when now I I'm gonna let you suck in at stuff and have to spend time backtracking fight. and stuff. Or dying sword at the same boss a million like times. Making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros... That bucket looks like the they Joker. They know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. So this is the part that's annoying that I was see, talking kid, about, guys. Your wit's got to be is twice as sharp You've got to collect sword. insults in their Let's answers. Try a and of it kind of out, takes a long we? time and is kind of okay. annoying. Imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting, and I say to you... You fight like a dairy farmer! You respond with... I'm I am rubber, you're, you're glue. glue. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. <laughs> you should have responded with something like... How appropriate! You fight like a cow! You see... It's razor-sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. 
Okay. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. Thanks. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with? How appropriate. How appropriate. You, you fight, fight like, like a, a cow. cow. No, no, no. <laughs> that was the response from the last insult. Doesn't even make sense when used here. Ah. <laughs> oh. A correct response to soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab would have been something like first you better stop waving it around like a feather duster see that Razor one sharp. I don't really get that's a really dumb now, insult I suggest you go out there and learn some insults um, I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off I'm sure you're feeling something similar